Hey, this is Rene. In this short video, I want to talk about why I turned off the MQL5 signal for my live trading account. This video is presented by BM Trading. Learn to code your own expert advisors. Link in the description. You probably realize that my signal on MQL5 was offline and I just reactivated it for this video specifically because otherwise I cannot see the statistics and cannot really explain my point here. And now I chose the highest possible subscription price. Before I do or before I chose the highest price that I do now, I chose the lowest possible price. So I'm moving from one extreme to another extreme. And the reason for this is I do not want you to subscribe to the signal. I just set up the signal on MQL5 because it was the easiest way for me to monitor this because I had the MQL5 account anyways. So I just had to add the credentials and I was able to track this and also show it to others like what's going on in the account. Why? I didn't want someone to follow the account. Like the answer to this question is very, very simple because for most people it just does not make sense. And this is why I also put it at like 5,000 US dollar now because I just don't want anyone to follow. And once, uh, and when I had it at 30 US dollar before, some people actually followed, but it did not make sense for them. At least not in my opinion, because what happened is some people were following and I, I had a look at the followers and how the invested capital uh, in my signal changed. And it was usually that people invested like 1000 euro or 1500 or I don't know, like the biggest investment was 20k, which was reasonable, but everything below that was, in my opinion, not really smart because you have to see that every signal on MQL5 Every public signal, and that's a big downside of MQL5 signals, in my opinion, they have you or you have to set a price for this signal. And the, the signal price ranges between 30 US dollar at the lower end and 5000 US dollar at the upper end. So I also for my signal was not able to lower the price below 30 US dollar, which means that also the person who invested 1000 US dollar had to pay 30 US dollar every single month in costs. And it just doesn't make sense it, because 30 US dollar per month is 360 US dollar per year, which is around 30% <laughs> or more than 30% on the invested capital, which means that this account would have to make 30% every single year to only outrun the costs. And I, I think you are able to choose a higher leverage if you follow a signal, but this also does not make any sense. If you choose to trade my signal or follow my signal with 1000 euro and then choose a even higher leverage than I already chose here in my account, that's even more <laughs> madness, I would say, because what some people do not understand, like my signal account is already highly leveraged, over leveraged, I would say, because I did not invest the total amount that I trade fictionally. Because I always say like this is a 50k account and also the signal name, which is funny, is 50k live. But of course I have way less in my account. Right now the equity is around 22,000, which means that also, and this is another downside of the MQL5 signal and why I took it offline and maybe will take it offline again uh, a few days after I upload this video. The problem is that the MQL5 um, signals are not the best way to to show the performance. Yeah, like here, for example, we can see the growth is at minus 65% at this point, at the lowest point. And this is because, I mean, this is somewhat correct because it is based on the amount of capital that I had in this account at this current point. And at this point, I think I had like 15K uh, invested. 15,000 and it was down like close to 10k. So I, I don't know, like the exact calculation, you can read about it also in the on the MQL5 page, but 
this is of course a very very huge drawdown but if you think about this as the 50k account that i trade here actually a drawdown of um, 10k would only be 20 percent and 20 percent is okay for me it was totally in range of the strategies that I use here, but 65% is a little bit over dramatic. But still, the algorithm here on MQL5, of course, balances all of these uh, or bases all of these calculations on the amount that is in this account at this specific point in time. So you can see the, the representation here is not really spot on or not what. Um, what would be accurate if I would have invested the actual 50k in the beginning. And this goes both ways, by the way. So um, it, it, it is for, um, for, for wins and also for losses. Like, um, wait, where can we see? Like here we can see the actual performance per month. And you can see the performance is like sometimes there's minus 50%, then there's plus 50%, then there's minus 22, there's plus 40. So you can see these fluctuations are just way too high and it's not really 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 accurate and um yeah so that's why like these were just some thoughts why i took this offline it doesn't mean that i don't trade the account anymore and the, or that there's something wrong with it it's just that i i really do not want anyone to follow because the past has shown that most people following my signal they don't they either overestimate <laughs> my capacity as a trader, which I appreciate, um, thankfully. But on the other hand, they, they just don't really look at this uh, with a realistic view. And they maybe sometimes lack some financial education, which I don't want to benefit from. And I don't want to burn money of people who make a um, investment that is not following rational thoughts in my opinion so yeah this is what um, my thoughts were taking this offline nothing's wrong everything's fine but for those who are interested and want to know why i took it offline that's the reason